So we basically, from we teach everyone, everyone needs to understand the qualitative levels one through five. Five being saturated, you can't be wetter than wet. When the soil is absolutely wet, um, you basically, it drips. You put a ball of soil in your hand that's um, a level five, that basically it drips out of your hand. That's five. If you base, if you then take a soil and put it um, w so that it just drips a little bit when you give it a little bit of a squeeze, that's a level four. If you take soil and you squeeze it as tight as you can and you can squeeze water out of it, that soil is a level three because if it a little bit of a squeeze, it's a four. More squeeze, it becomes a level three. If you can't squeeze water out of it, it's a level two. Now, at a level two, it's really interesting. You know that you're still at a level two because if you take a level two moisture and squeeze it in your hand and then blow on it, the soil doesn't move because water is a glue that holds that soil together. So if it um, is sticky, it's basically holding the water, um, water is holding that soil together and the plant is in great shape um, because most plants can survive to from a level two to a level four. So in a level four, remember, is basically where the water can freely run out of the um, soil if you give it a little bit of a squeeze. So there's plenty of water at a level four and there's still water available at a level two. At a level one, there's no water. So the, wa the soil literally is, um, if it's a peat mix, it's a light tan, you can basically blow on it and the soil moves. It doesn't stick together because there is no water present. And of course, you don't want to go to level one because at level one, plants are dead. So you really, if you think about it, from two to four is pretty much the kind of the range that you grow most plants at. Mm -hmm.